Good afternoon, good evening everyone. It is David Schlothauer here on this Monday evening keeping an eye on your weather forecast as we have so much to talk about as far as stormy weather goes across the west while we are dealing with a little bit more snow that is moving across the country over the next 24 to 36 hours. Now if you are new to the channel and you really like these detailed weather videos, please consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and sharing this video with your family and friends on social media and check out our weather force discord server and all my social medias all the links are in the description below this video. So here's a detailed look at the European model for Monday evening, December 26, 2022. And we can clearly see with what is going to be happening this evening into early Tuesday morning, we have a lot of moderate to heavy rainfall to contend with across Oregon, Washington, Northern California this afternoon. Maybe a little bit of snow activity across the Great Lakes and also for the Midwest. In the wake of what was a major historic winter storm, Elliot, that brought a lot of devastating impacts to the region. So right now, the weather is much quieter. The temperatures are going to start rebounding here in the next couple of days because the pattern is going to be changing. So let's go forward here on the European model. We can first see big time atmospheric river going to slam California. Lots of rain, lots of wind. Very heavy snowfall is anticipated for the higher elevations including for Oregon, for Washington, for Idaho, also for Montana. Big time stormy weather coming in by Monday night all the way into Tuesday afternoon for many locations while much of the wet or much of the east in this case will have quiet weather. Really not much to talk about but if you're a Wester viewer like me that looks at weather in California, Oregon, Washington, this is for you. So make sure you plan on for wet roadways, strong winds, colder temperatures and this is going to continue into the Intermountain West by the time we go into say uh, Wednesday impacting the four corners, Washington, um, portions of Washington, Oregon, Montana, Idaho, also for Wyoming, including for the four corners. You can see some snowfall out of this winter storm as this becomes more of a trophy like setup than a zonal flow, so more of lower elevation snow in the Rockies, but definitely going to bring in some impacts for that region but guess what this system is going to do it's going to get destroyed once it moves into the plains really not much going on here by thursday just a little bit of showers in the deep south maybe a little bit of light snowfall over minnesota over the dakotas over wisconsin nothing too major at this point that's a good thing that's what we want to know uh, hear about right you've been dealing with way too much wicked weather so it's nice to get a break but look at California, look at Nevada, look at Washington and Oregon getting ready for another storm system. This is going to be the next one that marches on in Wednesday night into Thursday. This one, of course, is weaker. It's going to bring in more light to moderate rainfall, but still a storm system that's going to bring in impacts to your location. And it doesn't end there. We're going to see a parade of storms that are going to slam the region, take a look at this. By the time we go into, say, Friday morning, it's still raining in California. Moderate to heavy rainfall is anticipated, but again, showery like conditions across the deep south. And then look at this. I mean, by Saturday, another plume of atmospheric river moisture slams California and Nevada. This could be really significant. We might see the strongest storm system of the bunch potentially on Friday into Saturday, bringing very strong winds that can blow down trees and power lines, more intense snowfall for the uh, the mountains of the Sierra. We could be measuring this storm in several feet, perhaps. And of course, in Nevada, you're going to be getting snow out of this. And the Rockies, nice to see the snow that will be continuing. And then, of course, for the southeast on Saturday in about five days, um, on, Chris, or on New Year's Eve, I should say, you're going to be dealing with a little bit of rainfall. And it looks like New Year's Eve or New Year's Day, we should say, for California should be dry. But New Year's Eve will be just downright stormy, windy, and quite cool um, compared to our systems that we're going to be seeing throughout Thursday and Friday. 
That's not it though. The weather pattern continues to be very active. Look at this. By the time we go into Monday, another snowstorm develops over the Rockies into the plains. This one could spill into the plains. That's what the models have been indicating. A more energized system. So that's probably going to be your next system to watch. Um, if anyone is watching this from the uh, northern plains uh, over the Great Lakes, that's going to be your next big storm system. Severe weather, maybe um, some uh, tornadoes out of this one. A long to go with um, heavy snow and freezing rain for Wisconsin and Minnesota. But look at this, it doesn't end. Another storm system hits California by Monday, and then another one by Tuesday into Wednesday next week. So we're just dealing with stormy conditions all the way through the extended forecast here for the next 10 days. California, the Intermountain West, including for Washington and Oregon, will just get storm after storm after storm. And if we extend our reach, that we'll do in the second half of this video, there is more than just this on the European model that could slam California. So it's, it's going to be a long haul here for heavy rainfall, strong winds, and colder temperatures. As far as your rainfall total go, totals go, we can see quite a bit of rainfall is anticipated here for the southeast, for the upper Midwest into the northeast, anywhere between about an inch to maybe two and a half inches of rain. But look at this. This is California, folks. Quite a bit of rainfall is anticipated here, especially from southern Oregon into central and northern California. Could see as much as 10 to 15 inches of rainfall in the next 10 days. This is not in the next month. This is 10 days away, and we could be picking up as much as uh, almost 16 inches in the heaviest rain-prone areas, but that's not it. It's wait until you see the GFS model. There is more than just 15 inches that might pile up there in California with additional several inches of rainfall for Oregon and Washington, and including for the Rockies. So a very active, hyperactive pattern is coming back west over the next several days. Get your umbrellas ready because you will need them a long time probably over the next week. Rainfall anomalies, this is what is showing up here on the screen and we can see here anywhere between about 3 to 6 inches above normal for the 10 day period here across California including for Oregon, the Rockies. This is very good news. We need the snow. We need the runoff. We need the rain into our reservoirs, the water, to uh, fill up Lake Mead, to fill up um, Lake Orville, to, to get these reservoirs really high, Lake Shasta. So this is important news for a lot of Californians, for Washington people, for Oregon, for Nevada people, for Arizona people. You, We need the rain really bad. So this is definitely a help in our um, we uh, substantial deficit in our water year supply that we are dealing with right now with the moderate to extreme drought. Of course, back in the southeast and the upper Midwest and the northeast, we're dealing, uh, you will be dealing with above average rainfall, anywhere between one to maybe two inches above normal for this time of the year. As far as your snowfall forecast goes, you can see, um, just letting you know, it's there's no plot. You don't see the numbers on your screen, but I'll, uh, I will be honest with you all, and I'm speaking from my honesty. If this stormy pattern pans out, which it likely will over the next 10 days, some of the Sierras, I'm not joking, some of the higher elevations of the Sierra Mountains could pick up up to maybe 10 to 15 feet of snowfall. I d just said that. 10 to 15 feet of snowfall, possibly 5 to 10 feet of snowfall for the Cascade Ranges of Oregon and Washington, maybe as much as 3 to 5 feet of additional snow coming for the Rockies, for Utah, for Colorado, for Nevada. Very good news. I mean, this is as good of a weather pattern as you can get, especially all the way across the West where we really need the rainfall. Again, additional snowstorm here moving across the High Plains and the Northern Plains could bring maybe additional 6 to 10 inches of snowfall. Doesn't look to be very significant at all by any means, but we'll keep you updated for the latest. But otherwise, um, much of the East here really not going to be continuing with a lot of snowstorms over the next uh, five to ten days, which is good because of a zonal flow. You're going to get warmer air advection. In fact, temperatures over here in the Great Lakes and the upper Midwest could be approaching record territory with temperatures 20 to 40 degrees above normal. You were literally 20 to 
40 degrees below average literally just a few days ago. So you're just flipping the temperatures all around, a full 360 pattern change here over the eastern half of the US, but that means the threat for severe weather will exist. So now to Oregon, Washington, California, Nevada people, this is really important. I know you may not tune into this part of the video, but we really need to talk about this because this is going to be an important factor of what is gonna drive these atmospheric rivers into California, the Pacific Northwest, and this is not gonna last for just a few days. We're talking weeks of rainfall here. So if you know your bearings very well, here is the West Coast right here. Here is California. I, my drawing, I guess, is good enough. So there is Washington. There's the United States. There is Nevada on your screen. Here is kind of Baja, California. Okay. So when we play this through, we can see um, these atmospheric rivers. We just rolled through the next several days, right? There is a look at, at Tuesday next week, okay? The next 183 hours, we're gonna see storm after storm after storm with additional storms out here in the Pacific. Again, these look to head our way and we can see this on the GFS uh, computer model that has been trending wetter over the last five runs, okay? That's since yesterday. So there's another storm. Here is another storm that slams California and then another one slams California then another one we're going all the way out to January 11th and the 12th now do I rarely go out this far is because again the models have trended wetter because the models are sampling that this uh, Aleutian low out here in the North Pacific will be much more stronger and it will extend all the way into the northeastern Pacific that's going to really amplify the jet stream as we take a look at our 250 millibar flow here uh, this is the 18z run we'll just run it through the 0z look at this jet stream very strong I mean it is whipping um, and that's going to steer these storms right into California. That's what we desperately need. So a very good pattern is coming up that will favor the West with a lot of a lot more rainfall. And again, if it comes true, we could be measuring the rain in possible feet in the 15 day period. As a matter of fact, really quickly, I wanted to show you all that. Here is the upcoming rainfall on the GFS model through January 11th. And you can see there, again, 20 inches of rain for the mountains, for the foothills of the Sierra. We'll be measuring the rain also maybe in feet for the northern uh, tier like Mount Shasta, Lake Shasta, uh, Eureka, uh, Wairika, if you are in Ukiah. Definitely a lot of heavy rainfall and strong winds. I mean, it could this could go on for a while. And some of the climate models indicate at least perhaps through the middle of January. That's January the 15th or the 16th, we are gonna continue with this wet pattern potentially. And I'll show you the Climate Prediction Center to back that up for you all in just a bit. So here's a look at the watches, warnings, and advisories. Again, high wind warnings in my area, wind advisories, winter storm warnings, uh, storm warnings in, along the California and Oregon coast, flood warnings, flood, not flood warnings, but flood watches, high surf warnings, high surf watches. I mean, there is a lot going on. I mean, we, we just literally grabbed all of the eastern half of uh, the eastern half's weather so all the active weather was here and now it's coming back west and it's going to be impacting our area so yeah stormy days ahead especially again tonight into t tomorrow afternoon big time storminess strong winds heavy rainfall speaking of that here's a look at our atmospheric river pattern that is setting up so again we're looking at the jet stream and we're looking at the cloud cover again storm number one let me circle that in is right here this is the first one a lot of this moisture is going to get steered into california right in this general direction there's another storm behind this off the side of the satellite and we're going to go into and look at windy.com on that this is storm number two right here and then we have additional storms that will develop behind that by the time we go into early next week so storm one here i'm circling that and storm number two this one we will have to keep an eye on storm number two also could tap into a lot of subtropical moisture from the philippines from hawaii and that might get um, that might get steered our way and that could bring in a lot of rainfall 
a more additional uh, a few inches or more um, just let alone between uh, Wednesday night all the way through perhaps on Saturday so here's a look at the NCEP dam IVT this is integrated um, uh, vapor transport or water vapor transport I should say and the higher colors here the redder numbers I know this is a lot to intake I know it's a lot of detail but it's my job to make sure we provide you as much detail this is showing us how much uh, water vapor transport there will be and the redder colors indicate a lot of moisture transport will be favored into California, the Pacific Northwest, and the yellower colors indicate lesser amounts. And the purple colors way out there, that's our next system that we have to watch for closely. That has extreme to exceptional values of water vapor uh, moisture transport. And if that again makes its way into California, you can make a sure bet we are going to have a very strong to near extreme atmospheric river hitting our area in fact some of the models indicate we can get an additional two to five inches of rainfall let alone out of that one system so we'll keep you guys updated on that when it gets closer so how does the first storm so a and b here the a and letter a means the next system that's coming in the x means where we're currently at as far as our atmospheric river transport of moisture so a a means this is going to be a uh, an, uh, an extreme event actually a strong event because it's in the um, it's a, a four we should say an atmospheric river category four system and then B could end up being a higher end threat um, kind of right in the middle here of the orange block and that means we could have a strong to extreme atmospheric river event and this one could last three or more days that would really be a big problem for uh, lots of runoff mudslides debris flows that sort of thing so again we definitely got to watch the next two systems the one tonight and then the one on thursday night lasting all the way into the weekend and yes that might stretch its legs all the way into our early the early portion of new year's day when people are out there celebrating the rose parade in uh, pasadena uh, could get rained out hopefully not because there's going to be a lot of uh, active weather there speaking of that we have a slight risk for flash flooding over California excessive rainfall outlook by the weather prediction center calls for a lot of rainfall over the next two to three days so that's a sure bet we're going to have some flood problems on top of that the 8 to 14 day hazardous outlook does call for heavy snowfall strong winds flood concerns and heavy rainfall uh, through New Year's Day and beyond as you can see through the 6th so the first full week of January we could be pretty stormy around here in my neck of the woods heavy rainfall could be possible once again for the deep south the southeast and portions of the Tennessee and also so for the Kentucky metropolitan area. This is supported by the Climate Prediction Center, near normal temperatures, below average temperatures in Southern California. If we take a look at our precipitation forecast, we can see uh, well above average chances there, 80% uh, uh, chance uh, over California and Nevada through January the 5th. And of course, for the Great Lakes and for the Deep South in the form of rain, likely no snow, uh, we're, uh, you guys are looking at likely above average rainfall. This continues into uh, the 8 to 14 day forecast with near normal temperatures over California and the Southern Californian region, including the Inner Mountain West, well above average. Now, I didn't mention much about this um, at the beginning, but look at this six to 10 days, very far above average chances you will see temperatures. All right, so don't get, don't prepare to wear your jackets or anything very much because it's definitely gonna be a lot warmer than it's been, right? And then when we take a look at our, um, through January the 9th, we're looking at above average chances for rainfall for the West. So this is really good news. We really, really need the rain. Get the water year rich and wet with a lot of moisture supply for our region. All right. Well, that's going to sum it up for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, the video detail, please consider subscribing, everybody. I am going to have a lot more updates on this very stormy, wet, persistent pattern across the West, including for your area back across the East. We're never going to forget about that because this weather pattern has proven to be pretty extreme recently and you can only do that if you subscribe share and like and also check me out on twitter facebook instagram 
All those links are in the description below this video, including our Weather Force Discord server. I proudly present that you all join that server today to interact with me. I might have some more weather briefings coming up really soon in regards to the active weather pattern that we're dealing with. Well, that's going to do with this video, everyone. Peace out, and I'll be back with you more soon with more weather updates.